Here in Milwaukee, the start of the weekend is upon us. It's Friday evening baseball on the show. The Atlanta Braves and the Milwaukee Brewers. And now, your 2000. And we'll be back with the first pitch right after this. Milwaukee Brewers. All right, just about set to go and getting to start. Corbin Burns. How about a scouting report on him? Well, it hasn't been a great year so far in terms of ERA, but he's had some decent games, and there have been some flashes of greatness, if you will. We'll see today if he's able to get ahead of hitters and perhaps get some swings and misses, put himself in a position to bring that ERA down, because you know in the back of his mind, beyond the W, he wants to have a better earned run average. Walker makes the grab, one pitch and one out. And next for Atlanta, Maddox Hank second. Aaron. The right fielder, number 44, Hank Aaron. And that one is lifted in the air. Walker drifts towards it, makes the grab, and there are two down. Stan Musial, next up the for the Braves. Baseman, number six. Musial, fourth on the batting average leaderboard in the National League. On the ground to first. Tosses to the pitcher covering the bag. And they get Musial for the out. Out number three. Braves are set down one, two, three. And we go to the bottom of the first. And starting this one is Charlie Morton. Base runners are tough to come by with him out there, Chris. His career ERA has been under four. What I like most about him is his reliability. He takes the ball every fifth day, ready to go whenever the manager calls. And the 1 Curveball drops in there. Got him looking. And one out now. No, you know that's got to be very frustrating for this guy. He knows the strike zone extremely well. And you know what? Good hitters are not going to compromise. He'll take that punch out, but ultimately stick with his plan and have more success than anything else. Colton Wong up to hit. And first offering is fouled off. One down, base is empty. And that one fouled off. The pitch. Down to the dirt, swing and a miss. In time for the second out. Good job to clean it up after the drop third strike. Batting third. Not shortstop. Cal. Two outs, base is empty. Junior. Digging in, Cal Ripton Jr. Fly ball, pretty well struck right field. That's back. Pulls it in on the warning track. Up three down for Milwaukee. 
scoreless after one. Back here in Milwaukee, new inning getting started. Here's Austin Riley. Austin Riley. Burns back to work. Line drive. Makes the catch one down. Now the left fielder, Michael Harris. Michael Harris. That one ripped. That's back. That's back some more. Turning, looking, and that one is gone. A big blow to the home fans. It's his eighth home run of the year. It's 1-0. One, one pitch, one swing, one home run. Yeah, you can say that's efficiency right there. Didn't need much time in the box to make an impact. He's going to have nightmares about that pitch. Perfect execution. It's not supposed to produce that result. He got hurt by a really good one there, but even a better swing at the plate. Here's Eddie Rosario. The center fielder, number eight, Eddie well struck right field. Hits the fence. Ripken with a relay throw. Not going to get him. He's in there. Drove that ball that nicely. Seven. Put a great swing on it. And it jumped off Randy. his back. Kind of put it all together there. And he's rewarded with the double. Now it's Randy Arozarena. And that bunted towards third. Rolls across the diamond, and that's an out on the sacrifice. Batting it. Orlando Arcia, next up for the Orlando. Braves. What a season it's been for him. He has supplied a lot of power and that average. Out towards right center field. Nice grab on the run. And that is that. One scores in the inning coming on this solo home run. It's an early 1-0 lead. Bottom of the inning. Now it's the veteran outfielder, Larry Walker. Leading off for the Brewers. And it's down away. Larry. And he'll one. Comes up empty. That's strike two. He got away with one there, but he knows he can't go into that spot very often against a guy like this. Chases that one out of the zone. Leadoff man retired here in the second. Well, that's such a critical Not pitch a in terms of execution that's right there. The hitter. pitcher has to finish really? it. Otherwise, probably gets hit pretty hard. If you leave that out over the plate or you don't get it down enough, quickly turns into something that gets smoked. But if you can place it where he did, it's a really deceptive pitch. Willie Adamas watches that one for a strike. Standing in here with one down. Fouled off. He was late. Right-hander kicks deals. That one the other way. Drops in for a hit. Couldn't run it down. Now he turns and heads for second. And the tying runs at second base with a double. Nice double right there. Loud contact coming off the bat. Didn't get enough air under to drive it out of here, but you'll take that swing and that result every time. Next for Milwaukee, Luis Urias. I'd say he's due. Righty delivers. And a foul ball. Hitter's got some good opposite field power. What I like about something being hit to the right side into the outfield is that the base runner at second has a very good read and can determine whether or not he can score on that base hit. So digging in, Hunter Renfro. This is another guy capable of hitting tape measure home runs. Adamas at second with two down. Owen and two as he waves at that one. This lineup's going to have to find a way to make him work a little harder out there on the mound. Ah, and this ball gets down. It's a hit. Adamas rounds third, headed for the plate. He'll score in the top. It's 1-1. And into second easily with a two-out double. You've got to get on your horse and get to that thing and get it back in because he's going to come barrel around first. He's going to put pressure on you. You bobble it or you don't get there in a hurry. He's going to make you look silly and end up on second base. That puts the squeeze on that one. And that's the inning. Brewers pick up a run on this RBI double. All even now at 1-1.
Back here at American Family Field. Top half of the third inning. And now here is Evan Sko. And here it comes. That one fouled off. Line drive, and that should be extra bases. Takes the turn. He's digging for second. It's a leadoff double to start the third. Now batting. The shortstop. Paul Molitor. Paul. Next up for the Braves. Oh. And that one ripped into right. And there's a base hit. Scope. Around third. He will score, and they take the lead. It's two to one. Now the tag at second, and he's out, trying for two. Here's a speed threat, Hank Aaron. And the first offering is fouled off. In the air, out towards right center. Racing makes the catch. And there's two down. The first base two the outs, first. base is empty. Damn. Stepping in, the long Damn. ball threat. Stan usual. Now that's smack to right center. He can't get there. It's a base hit. Low throw, and he can't dig it out. Oh, that's just an unacceptable oh, error right there. Just kind of lackadaisical in getting it back into the infield, and there's really no excuse for that. Turned a simple single into a runner in scoring position now. Austin Riley, next up for the Braves. Oh, now this one's high and deep. Way back there. On its way. Gone. Austin Riley goes deep, and they add to their lead. It's 4-1. Well, that one won't stay below the radar. That made a lot of noise. So let's take a closer look inside the numbers. That blast from StatCast, 113 miles an hour off the bat, Ziggy. And it just flew out of here, Berg. Even if you only heard the ball hit the bat, you knew that was a home run. I mean, he put a perfect swing on it, and the numbers back it up. So two away with nobody on. So now to the plate for Atlanta. Michael Harris. Really good piece of hitting last time going to the opposite field. No, no waiting around right there. He was ready to swing it on the first pitch. I know that was a ground ball, but it was absolutely hammered through the infield. That's not one you're excited to get in front of if you're an infielder. You know they used to say, charge it. Crazy. And now they've got some speed on first. So we'll see if they try to get him into motion. And the batter now, Eddie Rosario. Walker makes the catch, and that'll do it. But two come across to score in the inning, courtesy of this two-run homer. It's now 4-1. Set for the bottom of the third. Here's Pedro Severino. Leading off for the Brewers. The catcher. Left field. Harris. Should have this one. And it's caught for the out. So the lineup flips over. And now it's Christian Yelich. First pitch just misses. Boog, it looks like somebody missed the swing sign. That's the first pitch this team's taken for a ball all game long. And a swing and a miss. And a pitch. And a foul ball. He stays alive. And that one hammered. That's back there. Pulls it in on the warning track. Well, I think the wind ended up being a factor right there. It's ripping in right field right now. So otherwise, 
I think that oh, falls man. out of here. Oh. Swing and a ball popped up. That one gets down for a hit. And that keeps the inning alive. First pitch swing in, went up there with the plan to be aggressive. That could be a dangerous pitch if you don't get it inside enough. Because as a hitter, you see it coming across the plate the whole way. No problem handling it and putting a good swing on it that time. And you can feel this crowd waking up a bit here as the guys are starting to make some noise with their bats. Stays alive. Fouled off down the right side. At the belt and fires. Chopped out in front of the plate. Fires over to first. And that's the third out. And one. And this is still a 4-1 ball game. Back here at the ballpark, John Chompy with Chris Singleton and set to lead off the fourth, Randy Arozarena. Puts a bunt down. Steps on first for the out. Here's Orlando Arcia. Hit in the air, right field. And puts the squeeze on that. And a couple of quick outs. This is important. If he can go one, two, three here, it will be a very positive sign for, for him and for his team. Two Evan outs, base is empty. Sko. At the play, Evan Sko doubled his first time up. Swing and a ball lifted left field. Yelich makes the catch, and that'll do it. Go down quickly here, but they lead it four to one. Morton back to work. That one hit to right. Falls it in for the out. Now that Willie Adamas stands in. Willie Adamas. Swings through that one. 0 oh and 1. Late with the swing there. He was really trying to stay back for something off speed. That's why he was so tardy on that swing. Next offering down in the dirt. The count is 1 and 2. The wind of the pitch. In the air, left field, down the line, and they get Adamas for the out. Two down. No, just an excellent now job to track that Third one down. Base. That was a tough Louis. play, and he Ooh, tried to stay yeah. on his feet, not wanting to dive and maybe have it go by him, but the lunge at the end kind of sent him barrel rolling. Great effort, though, and a nice job to hang on to the ball throughout the catch. And first offering is fouled off. Kicks and deals. Pitch misses outside. And that's ball one. Kicks and fires. That's towards center. Rosario under it. Makes the catch in a goal. Gone in order are the Brewers. And welcome back. We go to the top of the fifth. Now here is Paul Molitor. The shortstop. And the right hander back to work. Swing and that ball smashed on a line. He dives but can't hang on. That's a base hit. Walker throws to second. Close play but in there. Oh, here we are, third time through the order, and this is where we see the OPS jump up. Manager might have to go to the bullpen a little bit sooner than he anticipated. Hank Aaron, next up for the Braves. He's a guy who does it all. Out to center, Renfro under it. Makes the grab, one down. Stan Musial, next up for the Braves. Stan Musial. This one in the air, right field. Walker gets under it. And he makes the catch. Runner tags up for third. And he moves up to third, now two away. The battle. Austin. 
And now it's Atlanta's cleanup hitter, Austin Riley. His two-run homer back in the third was an important swing of the bat in this one. Yeah, there's no doubt he helped set the tone fairly early and certainly part of the reason why they've got the lead right now. The other way, base hit, and a run comes in. Just so sound in his mechanics. Hits against a firm front side, and the hands just continue to carry through the middle of the field. Here comes the new arm for the Brewers, Jared Weaver. He last pitched four days ago, so he should feel pretty fresh. Well, at this point in the ball game, we're talking about middle innings, and he made a little length out of this arm coming out of the bullpen. We'll see just how many outs he's able to give his skipper. Digging in, it's the speedy outfielder, Michael Harris. He launched a solo shot back in the second inning of this one. Yeah, that was big for these guys early on. Definitely helped them get off onto the right foot. And that one is lifted in the air. Renfro settles under it and makes the play, and that's out number three. Pick up a run on two hits, no errors, and a man left. Here comes a pitch. Leading off for the Brewers. Renfro yeah. stands in now and watches strike one. Renfro. Popped up to the left into foul ground. He makes the grab, and there's one away. They've got a potent lineup, and when you think about teams capable of rallying from this kind of the deficit, bat. they're right the at the top baseman. of the list. Garrett Cooper. Cooper in the box now. No balls and a strike. And a pitch. Strike two. Look, it looked like that curveball backed up on him, and although it's a mistake, it works out really good for the pitcher. The hitters timed it. That one ripped left field. Bangs off the wall. The throw into second. And he'll reach second with one away. So up next, Pedro Severino. The catcher, Pitch misses 20. inside. And that is ball one. Severino. One out and a runner at second. Swings through that one out in front that time. Next pitch Whoa, misses right outside. Two and one. Swing and he breaks his back. That's a foul ball. The pitch. He swings and fouls one off. And that's just foul. Also really good at that. What I like about this guy, his back stays in the zone for a long time. Gives him the ability to foul off tough pitches. Now, Billy, it becomes pretty difficult as a teammate when a guy's struggling well, like this. You don't know if you want to go up and tell him to keep swinging it or if you want to give him his space, what exactly he needs. But right now, it's clearly a struggle for him, and we're just hoping that somehow, some way, it'll click and he can get out of this as quickly as possible. Next offering is in for a strike. Two outs. And a foul ball. He stays alive. Cooper on its second with two down. Next offering is foul back. There's a swing and a drive. And it slams off the bottom of the wall. Runner from second crosses the plate. It's 5-2. Well, that gets him a little closer in this one. Absolutely blasted that one into the gap, but just didn't have quite enough to clear the wall out there. Maybe a little more elevation under it, and it carries over, but that's a swing you'll be happy with every time. Stepping in, Colton Wong. Now that and that's in there for strike one. Two outs and one in scoring right. position. Next offering is in for a strike. Perhaps not quite ready to hit first two pitches by him for... This one swung on and hit well. Way back there. And that is gone. That one barely got out of here. And they closed the gap. It's 5-4. They needed that one, Singy. Indeed they did. They've been fighting to get back into this game. Just like that, they're back in it. For a pitcher, the odds are in your favor if you keep that breaking ball down. That time, he got punished for it. Hitter just did a really good job of staying within himself and getting the barrel to the baseball.
Cal Ripken Jr. Up now for the Brewers. The batter number eight. Shortstop. Cal Ripken Jr. Now fly ball to right center. Hank settles underneath it. He's got it, and that'll end the inning. But not before they're able to draw closer with this blast. It's now a 5-4 ball game. Back here in Milwaukee, all set for the top of the sixth. Here's the center fielder, Eddie Rosario. Eddie. The pitch. In the air out to center, Renfro drifts towards it. And out number one on the grab. Now batting, the designated hitter, Randy Arozarena. So here's the Braves designated hitter, Randy Arozarena. In there for strike one. Some guys are just more confident they can track that first pitch out of the hand of the pitcher. They don't care if they fall behind 0 1. And the righty deals. Lays down a bunt to the right side. And he takes it himself for the out. Now batter. Two Second outs, base is empty. Orlando. And now Orlando Arcia. That one hammered left field. This one's got a chance. Pulls it in on the warning track. To the bottom of the six we go. Four, five, six coming up. It's the Braves five and the Brewers four. Welcome back. Bottom of the six. And now it's going to be Larry Walker. That's in there. It's 0-1. Felt impressed that he went right after him on that first pitch. That's the key. Try to get ahead in the count, then you can play around a little bit more as the bat expands. Swings and misses, and he's down on strikes for the second time today. Good late cut for the strikeout there. That thing really got in on him, and you know the cutter isn't really a huge swing and miss pitch most of the time because. It's not really meant to move a whole lot. You're just trying to miss the big part of the barrel and maybe get some weak contact. But that one right there did a whole lot more than that. That was a really good pitch. Comes up empty on the swing. 0-2 now. On the ground to third. Gathers and throws to first. And that quickly, two away. Third baseman number two. Luis. Here's Luis Arias. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. And that skips in the dirt. One and one. And a one one. And that's through there for a strike. I got to count one and two. The pitch. And a ball evens the count. Two two down. Three. Down on strikes. Third out. Nobody left for Milwaukee. Still down a run. It's five to four. Back here at American Family Field, we go to the top of the seventh, and here's the catcher, Evan Scove. The catcher, Evan Scove. Weaver, back to work. That one is absolutely belted. Way back there. And gone! Home run number five on the season, and they add on. It's 6-4. Looks like this guy was looking out over the plate, but he was ready to turn on the inside fastball. So direct to the pitch, absolutely blasted out of this ballpark. Back to the leadoff spot in the Braves lineup. Now in for the Braves, Paul Molitor for the fourth time tonight. 
That one's in there, 0 and 1. Lined into right, base hit. Back-to-back -back base hits. Didn't try to do too much with it. Now Just a really controlled, Wait. simple swing. We don't see a whole lot of that mm. these days with guys trying to launch and hit home runs, but sometimes you got to shorten up just like that. Lifted in the air, right field. Walker brings it in, and there's one down. So digging in, Stan Musial. Stan Musial. Swings and blasts one deep to left center. That one back there. Pulls it in on the warning track. The relay throw. Now oh, back in safely at first. Man, he hammered that one to center. I thought it was out of here, but Wynn just now absolutely back. killed it. Third base. Austin Riley. And a base hit on a line. The throw in. And he's out. Touchdown, and that ends the inning. Got a big no-no right there. Even though it was a bang bang play, we always remember not make the third out in third base. They just ran themselves out of the inning. Back here at the ballpark. Now it's Hunter Renfro. Now time is called here. Pitching coach on his way out to the mound. Hunter. New pitcher on now, Jacob Webb, trying to protect this lead. Now pitching for Atlanta. Wind in the pitch. Number 71. And a good fastball to start him off. That's strike one. A big swing and a miss. Just a little too quick on that front shoulder, front hip, front foot. Everything comes open. No way of making contact with that one. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. One away. A big first now, out here in the seventh via the punch out. Garrett. Yeah, it just does so much to Cooper. change the outlook of an important inning like this. When I mean, you got the leadoff hitter so critical in setting the table when you got a tight game like this. So a strikeout really puts them on their heels. Bounce to the right side. Throws to first. Two up, two down. Now that the catcher. Here's the catcher to hit. Pedro Severino. Severino. Ozzy Albies. He's the new shortstop as he comes in as a defensive replacement. He's been here. Also into the ball game, Joe Rios. He takes over and right. Also entering the game, Ronald Acuna Jr. He'll be patrolling center field. Also Number into the 13. ball game, Matt Olson. He a takes over as the new first baseman. Your attention, please. A and there's a foul ball. Now playing first base. You'll walk. Matt. Fought off foul. Swing and a miss. That one in the dirt. And it's in time for the third out, so that'll end the inning. We go to the eighth, and here is Michael Harris. Leading off of the play, the left field, Michael Harris. Pitch. Hit hard, base hit. And that rolls into the corner. Around first, digging for two. It's a double, and he's three for four tonight. Seems like he got exactly what he the was looking for right there. A well-deserved double on a great swing. Got everything going on time. He stayed balanced and squared it up about as well as you could possibly ask. And here is Ronald Acuna Jr. Swing from Acuna. Big drive. Deep left field. 
That's back there. And out of here. Another one in his incredible season. And they add a couple more. It's 8-4. That's their fourth home run of the game. They can't stop, and they won't stop hitting home runs in this one, Boog. They're clearly feeding off of each other at the dish. He got on plane with that high fastball, and look how his bat stays in the zone for a long time. Absolutely crushed that bit. Jesse Hahn will take over here. Now it's the DH, Randy Arozarena. Hahn. Gets the bunt down the right side. The flip to the pitcher covering. Out on a bang-bang play, but he made it close. Now Orlando Arcia next baseman. up for the Braves. Orlando Arcia. In the air, right field. Reaching for it. Makes the catch. Up next for Atlanta. The catcher. So two down now, and here is Evan Stowe. He sent one out of here in the seventh. Yeah, a big moment in this game as well. It was a great swing, and one of the reasons why they're out in front and looking to add on right here. High fly ball down the left field line. Yelich makes the catch, and that'll do it. Acuna goes yard for the Braves. It's now 8-4. Ready for the bottom of the eighth. Here's Yelich at the dish. Hawaii to kick the pitch. No and the first offering is fouled off. There's the swing and a miss. I think he was sitting off speed there. Swing and a line drive caught. Here's the second baseman, Colton Wong. In there, and it's 0-1. And a pitch. In the air to left center. Got it. Really had to move for that catch. And yeah, there's two away. The batter number eight. Shortstop. Two outs, base is empty. Ripken. Up now for Milwaukee, Junior. Cal Ripken Jr. <laughs> that one lifted to left. Paris settles underneath it. And the inning is over. They're unable to make a dent in an 8-4 deficit. All set for the start of the inning. Ozzie Albies up to the plate. The wind of the pitch. And that one sliced foul. Right-handed reliever. That one ripped. Up against the wall and brings it in. Man, that's one of those at bats where you have to remind yourself now it's that. about the process. Right he did everything right right no. there. Nothing to show for it. Really but good. in your mind, you have to convince yourself that it was a very good at bat. Swing and a line drive. Base hit out of the center field. So they get a man aboard with a one-out single. Well, his hot hitting continues. He's been getting now great bad. results lately. That's base. about as textbook as it nah. gets. Got his stride and load out of the way early. He stayed inside that ball and squared it up out front. Man, that was like he was in the cage hitting off a tee. Here's Matt Olson. And there's a fly ball deep right field. Makes the catch up against the wall. Man, Boog, I love watching an outfielder take on the wall to make that play, and it's a yeah, lot man. easier to watch Thank from you. up here because awesome. that can be painful in the yeah. end. You know the wall's coming up on you quickly, so you have to maintain concentration and able to make that catch and hold on to it after contact.
Out towards right center field. Walker makes his way towards it. Can't get there. Base hit. Rios coming home. Wong relay to third. The tag down. That ends the inning, but they do score a run here. On to the bottom of inning number nine. Four, five, six coming up. We head to the bottom of the ninth. Now the Brewers cleanup hitter, Larry Walker. The right fielder, Larry. Walker. Webb back to work. Called strike right there. Deal one. Center field. Acuna there. And there's one down. Now Next for the Brewers, the Willie Adamas. Willie Adamas. Brian Wilson, Wilson into the game. Number 38. Brian. And Wilson. that's in there for strike one. The pitch. This one popped up. Foul ground, first base side. Olsen puts it away. Out number two. Third baseman number two. Luis Urias Luis. up now for the Brewers. Urias. And he swings Urias. and misses at the initial offering. Late that time, and it's strike two. And he deals. Three. Right through there. Got him. And that is the ball game. Another day, another win. I really think these guys have forgotten how to lose a ball game. It's been so long since they've lost. I really don't know what else to say. They're just a can't-miss ball club right now. 9-4, our final score for Chris Singleton and our entire crew here at MLB The Show. Thanks for stopping by. I'm John Chomby. Talk to you soon. Yeah, yeah, yeah.